Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Sinister Playthroughs, where we last left off here in Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. We had just rescued General Dussel after he turned traitor, and loot delivered the most awesome conclusion to any battle I have ever seen in this game by just barely surviving what would have been a mortal blow by the boss Baron, then turning around and counterattacking, dealing exactly enough damage to kill the boss at the last possible second. It was awesome. Loot is my favorite forever, and we're going to continue this game. Oh dear god, why? Why is this controller not working? Why? Hang on a second, folks. I'll be back in just a moment. Sorry about that, folks. So, uh, let's continue, shall we? Chapter 11, The Phantom Ship! Alright. Well, it looks like we actually do have a route to Grotto from here. We weren't just being completely ridiculous walking over to the edge of this peninsula. We are going to take a ship on over to Tizel, looks like. Folks, uh, I have to tell you, it is 90 degrees out right now in Chicago, and that would be okay, except that my apartment does not have central air, and even turning on the fan makes the sound quality so bad on this recording. Believe me, I tried it. Uh, so I'm just going to sweat to death here. And hopefully I will not drop dead of heat stroke in the middle of this video. <clears throat> General Dussel tells them of the enigmatic Dark Stone. The product of Grotto's research into the Dark Arts, the Dark Stone possesses power far beyond that of the Sacred Stones. According to the rumors swirling about, the guard's descent into madness coincides with the creation of the Dark Stone. Ephraim must confirm the existence of the Dark Stone. He decides to travel to Grotto by sea. Wasn't he heading to Grotto anyway? I don't know about that. Whoop. Don't mind me, I'm just knocking into things. Midway through their passage, however, an eerie fog begins to form. Ooh. Scary! And so begins Chapter 11, Phantom Ship. Oh, yes. But first... A little interlude from Grotto Keep. Your Majesty, I have returned. Selina. You coward, why did you not execute Dussel? Forgive me, it was that Valter. Selina. Dussel has betrayed us. He has bent his knee to Ephraim. Are you a traitor too? Never. I am your Majesty's vassal. I am yours, body and soul. Your Majesty, please, another chance, I beg you. Any order you see fit to issue, I will complete. Selina, I have something for you. If I may, Father. Yes. What is it, Prince Leon? I want you to go to Zabul Marsh and retrieve something for me. It is a dragon stone, a very special kind of rock. A dragon stone? That's right, it's very rare. There are only two in the entire world. I've heard rumors of a collector there who has one for sale. It looks like nothing but a common gemstone. I need it for my research. If I have that stone, my... Uh, my prince, are you alright? I'm fine, don't worry about me. Now, please, find me the dragon stone. Will you approve my request, father? Yes, do as my son asks. Yes, understood. Your majesty, I would like to renew my oath of service to you here today. I pledge that I shall never again falter in my duty to you or to Grotto. I beg your leave, my lord. Aww. It's Mir, the little dragon wing girl. Is this the first time you've seen the ocean, Mir? Yes! It's so blue, so vast! It is at that. You know, this is my first passage on a ship. I've never appreciated just how enormous the sea is. Really? I'd never have guessed you hadn't sailed before. You seem so calm. If I'm to lead us, I can't allow any weakness to show through. I must appear competent and capable at all times, you understand? 
Ephraim, um... Prince Ephraim. Excuse me, Mayor. We'll have to continue this later. Uh, all right. What is it, Seth? There's a ship following us, just on the edge of the fog. Should I ready the company for battle? Is it a grotto vessel? It's hard to say. The fog makes it difficult to see clearly. However, her crew seems not to be human. <laughs> rise and rage, my precious children of darkness! Ruin the wood and ride the sea. Drown your foes and devour their flesh. Come celebrate the glorious rebirth of your lord and master, the Demon King. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we know who's responsible for this battle. Oh, Seth, we don't want you anymore. Cormag, you on the other hand, we do want. You will be coming with. Yep, yep, looking good. Let's just make sure everyone has items. Loot is looking good. Cross is doing fine. Naomi's doing fine, except why does she have a Lance Reaver? You give that away. We do not want you with a Lance Reaver. Calm. Oh, he's doing fine. Hmm. Yeah, Franz needs a new spear. Don't think we're going to need the Axe Reaver at this point. Let's just give him a good, solid Iron Lance to take into battle. Artor is doing fine. Amelia could maybe use another spear. Or another lance, rather. Um, yeah, there we go. Ephraim... He could probably... Well, first, let's get rid of that hero crest, and let's give him a nice little iron lance. Oh, we don't have any more iron lances, huh? Alright, well, let's give him a javelin, and... say... A Silver Lance. Why not? Natasha's doing okay. Tana's doing okay. Uh, just in case, though, let's give her one more heal staff. Oh, 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 and the torch. That's going to be helpful. That's going to be kind of important, because we are going to, uh, we're going to want that. Cormag, you should probably take a uh, javelin. And do we have a torch for you to carry? Because that could be really helpful. Not a torch staff, mind you. I mean, like, an actual torch. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think Irika has that. Which means I don't. Oh well. No matter. Let's get started, folks. So, I'm going to do a quick save state. get started with this battle. I don't actually remember how you get from here to there. I think maybe this ship moves up alongside you or something. Something like that. Maybe. Possibly. I guess we'll find out in just a second. Prime, you need to be at the front because you are an indomitable badass. Amelia, you're certainly welcome to hang out up there. Calm. Maybe we'll move you over here. Artur, why don't you head over here? And Natasha, you stay way back here. Cool. End of that turn. Oh, flying enemies are coming after us. I see how this is. We haven't seen these before. These are gargoyles, I believe. But our flying characters are more than a match for them. Look at that. Cormag is totally dominating these gargoyles. They do not stand a chance. Ooh, nice level up for them, too. Very good. There, the enemy is closing. Prepare for battle. 
Okay, yeah, so the map changes over the first few turns. You kind of have an early opportunity to uh, take down some flying enemies before the action gets too heated. Which is pretty good. I appreciate that. As you may recall, bows are super good against flying enemies, which means that Naomi can pretty much one-shot everyone who you have to fight on these first couple turns. It is a pretty neat thing to have working for you. Oop, and a totally gratuitous critical. Loot's like... Look, wh whatever. I, I get it, Loot. You had your one shining moment, you think you will never be able to do anything that cool again, and you're desperately trying to recapture it. Look, you just gotta you just gotta accept. You did probably the most awesome thing you or any Fire Emblem character will ever do. You did it halfway through the game, and now you're never gonna top it. I realize that's kinda depressing, but uh, you know, showboating with totally unnecessary criticals is not going to change anything. That's all I'm saying. Let's see, what can Tana do? Hmm, she actually does not match up as well as Cormag does against these guys. Just a little unfortunate. Well, no matter. Go for it, Cormag. Interestingly, I like how these guys are, like, standing on what looks like solid water. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of cool that they decided to hew to that, uh, same style there. Alright, hopefully she can javelin this guy to death. Nicely done, Tana. That is what I like to see. And her weapon level increases. Very nice. Well, I think that's about all we can really do for now. I suppose I could use a torch or something, but uh, I'm just going to wait for the next turn. See what it brings us. They've pulled alongside us. Those creatures are trying to board. That's fine. It'll bring them within reach of my lance. Push them back, board their ship, and seize the blasted thing. Alright, well clearly there are more of these guys. More, uh, Mogols, or Magvols, or whatever their name is. Hanging around. I'm thinking I'll keep Naomi near the rear to deal with them. Or maybe I'll just uh, have our tour be the resident Mogol killer. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. So, first things first, we need to send Amelia over here, because she is all but impervious to damage, and she will be extremely handy to have at the front here. I'm thinking uh, Ephraim will probably be joining her on the front lines there, because he also has just crazy defense. Holy crap, I can't believe she's only level 4. And she's that good already. It's kind of amazing. Alright, Prince Ephraim, why don't you go... Yeah. yeah, stick with the Steel Lance. Just wait over there. Natasha, I'm going to... let's see... Yeah, I'm not seeing any archers here, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. Natasha, why don't you go do a little torch work, if you don't mind? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see... It's dangerous to send Tana or Cormag over because of these guys. Those guys will, uh... I believe the expression is wreck your shit. I think that's how it goes. If you like your shit, as I like my shit, you don't want it getting wrecked. So you're going to avoid sending your flying units directly over there. 
because bad things will happen. We'll just leave it at that. And let's see. I feel like maybe Loot is a good person to uh, stick on this plank. I feel like she'll probably do okay. Or maybe Franz. Maybe Franz is a better choice. Alright, Franz. It's all up to you, buddy. We'll just see how this next turn goes. Can't say I'm entirely surprised that they're swarming Amelia. Amelia is going to chew through these guys like a dog through a milk bone. And even with her crazy defense, if enough of them attack her, uh, they will probably be able to take her down, which is a little worrying. She doesn't have that many hit points. Luckily, she does have pretty impressive speed for a knight, so she's dodging a lot of attacks. That's going to help. And, oh my god, she's going to level up so much this turn. I'm already seeing it. And she's just getting stronger and stronger. The more of these guys throw themselves at her. And a crit. Totally not even necessary. I guess it saves her one extra attack that she can use with that lance. So it's kind of useful in that sense, but... Amelia is basically going to clear this entire ship this turn, I think is what's going to happen. That seems to be the way this is going. It's kind of amazing. This is going to be like the easiest uh, leveling expedition for Amelia that I think I've ever seen. Or any character, really. Leveling up is usually not quite this easy. I'm not even having to do anything. I'm just sitting here not even pushing any buttons. It's just monster after monster, throwing themselves onto Amelia's spear. Oh, hey now. Oh, I'm glad she dodged that. That would have been uh, some pretty substantial damage. <laughs> oh, here's another one. And another dodge, thankfully. Amelia is a machine, guys. She is a fighting, killing machine. Look at that. Nuts. And a great level up there. And they are just giving it their all. They are even throwing guys who have a 45% chance to deal zero damage at Amelia at this point. That's how desperate they are to take her down. And a one damage arrow hit. Not gonna do that much. Comes a javelin. Misses. And that's it. They have given up. They're like, okay, you know what? We're, we're probably not gonna kill Amelia at this point. Just kind of seems unrealistic. Maybe we should think of something else we can do. Now, what is this? That looks like a much more intimidating version of the regular skeleton. And in fact, it says it is a white. White, sure it is. You know, sorry about that, folks. That was a terrible joke. Those stats uh, don't look that great. Gotta be honest with you. In fact, those stats kinda suck. It's not really much better than your standard skeleton. It has like one higher defense, two higher speed. Yep, yeah, not that impressive. This guy is a little... no, he kinda sucks too. Man, what is up with these monsters? They just have the worst stats. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Natasha, I want you to heal Amelia, because she did such a super job there. I want to make sure that she is able to last this next round without any problems at all. Hmm. Yeah, let's kill the Batman. Why not?
and yet another level up. She is now level 8, and even better. But her Iron Lance broke. Aww! Aww! The game always sounds so sad whenever a lance or any other sort of weapon breaks. It's like, but, but I liked that weapon! It was my friend! Alright, hang on, hang on. I'm going to do another save state. Because... That was a crazy good round for us. Crazy good, I say. So good, it is actually nuts. Oh, now here's a great opportunity for us to kill off this pretty intimidating monster here, the Entombed. Yeah, Loot's not going to quite kill it, but she's going to get awfully close. Which will give Franz and some of my flying characters, perhaps, the opportunity to swoop in and finish it. <laughs> Down goes the Entombed, which, as you can see, the Fetid Claw actually deals quite a lot of damage. So, the strength of 7 is not really the main factor in how much damage it does. And let's see. Unfortunately, there are a couple of archers left who could cause problems for my flying characters, so I am going to have to do something to deal with those. Luckily, Prime is in a pretty good position to swoop in and uh, make short work of it, I think. Yeah, at this point, we might as well just one-shot it. Down goes the archer. Very nice work there, Ephraim. Not quite a level up, but close. Hmm. Yeah, that archer is the only one left, so... In theory, if I were to move... Hmm, uh, Tana... Cormag are unfortunately both out of range there, but, but, I think we'll swoop in on this guy. That'd work out all right. Tana, why don't you lead the charge here? Nice work, Tana. Taking down the steel sword skeleton with a plume. And Cormag. Well, let's see. Ross, where can you move to? Answer. Nowhere helpful. You are just a little too slow, sir. Although, that is largely my fault because I kept him a little too far back. Calm. Let's move you over here. Artur, move you over here. And Naomi, why don't you head over here? And finally, Cormag. Cormag, Cormag, Cormag. What do we do with you, Cormag? What are we going to do? I know! Let's have you javelin someone. Unfortunately, both of these enemies have javelins, but luckily, they both kind of suck, so I'm not overly concerned about the counterattacking that they will do. However, I do have to be concerned about this guy moving over here, or over here, and... Well, see, if this guy moves, then this guy can move down and stand in his place, and then he will be able to shoot Cormag right over here. So, I need to move Cormag right above Ross. That's the only place where I can be assured that he will remain safe. Go for it, Cormag. And down goes that javelin-wielding skeleton. We are in a pretty good, uh, we're in pretty good shape here, folks. Holy crap. I spoke too soon there. Luckily, that skeleton is not going to die on Calm's blade, so I don't have to worry too much, I think, about Calm getting swarmed. 
A lot of these, uh, a lot of these skeletons are pretty well equipped. More than I thought they would be. But that's my mistake, not, uh, not scouting a little more thoroughly beforehand. Another skeleton, with a chance to deal zero damage, missing anyway, and then dying. You know, generally, generally the, uh, the AI in Fire Emblem is pretty strong. Um, but... You know, not to toot my own horn or anything, but... Telepath Tactics, the game I'm developing right now. Uh, one thing you will never see an enemy do is attack when it will deal zero damage. And something you will double never see an enemy do is attack when it would deal zero damage, and it would invite a counterattack that would kill the character. Of course, that's probably not a fair comparison, because I'm programming on a PC with virtually unlimited resources. And this was made on the Game Boy Advanced, which is definitely pretty limited in terms of the memory and computational power available to use. So, that's totally unfair. I'm, and I'm a bad person. But that's okay. I'm not actually a bad person. I was just saying that because... Okay, don't kill Calm, please. Alright. Thank you for that, Mr. Skeleton. I appreciate you not killing... My delightful thief. Whoa. Okay, that must be the white. That weird purple skeleton thing. What? Another ship? Stay calm, everyone. We take the fight to them. Oh, it's those guys. Friends of justice, allies of righteousness and order, know that I, Larachel, have arrived. Now I shall purge the seas of this vile vessel of villainy. <laughs> nice alliteration, Princess Larachel. Hmm? I didn't hear Renak's voice. How very odd. Dozla, where has Renak run off to this time? Hmm. He was with us at mealtime before we boarded, but... That man can be such a distraction. Oh well, never mind. Let's get started destroying these agents of chaos. <laughs> Leave it to me. All right, so that's it's those two. Theoretically, you kind of want to avoid them getting killed because they join you. Uh, frankly, I don't much care. A lot of people really like Lara Chell. They think she's great. Eh, I could take her or leave her, frankly. I don't really have much of an opinion on her. But I suppose that she probably would be good if I were to take the time. Alright, now, I can't heal both Calm and Cormag in the same turn, so I'm going to have to have one of them use a Vulnerary. Who will it be? That remains to be seen. Well, first things first. Uh, Ross, why don't you go do something useful and kill this nasty creature here? And down he goes in a single hit with the Steel Axe. Nice swing in there, Ross. Those big, beefy pirate arms taking him down with the plume. And let's see. Did that sound a little overly erotic there? Referring to his big, beefy pirate arms? That was not my intention. I realize it kind of came across that way, though. In hindsight. Okay! There we go. Javelined! With an apostrophe D on the end. And Tana levels up. Alright, pretty good. Speed wasn't exactly the thing she was missing, but... You know me, I will never, ever complain about a character gaining in speed. That is just how I roll. Alright, Franz, time for you to finish off this guy. Hmm... Yeah. As you can see, that guy had a really big uh, hit percentage boost against the sword. Although it looks like it didn't end up mattering anyway, because he still hit, even with a 35% chance to land a blow. That is the power of the weapons triangle, though. That is all I am saying. Okay, I could kill that guy in one shot, or I could kill that guy in one shot. 
Who do I want to one-shot? Him or him? Who will it be? I think I'll one-shot this guy. Woo! And a nice, nice chunk of experience goes Loot's way after that. Her magic is uh, getting really, really formidable here. But you already knew that. Calm, what can you do? He, the answer is, kill this guy. But because there is a vanishingly small chance of something going horribly wrong, I'm going to do a save state first. Just in case. There we go. You know, 94% chance to hit. That's awfully high, but it's not 100%. And if he had missed, he very well could have died. This is the kind of paranoia that Fire Emblem drives me to. As you can see, I decided to make Natasha heal calm. Cormag is not currently on the front line, so he has a little more flexibility. Artur. Finish off this bowman for me, would you? And he levels up! Very nice. As you can see, he's lagging behind loot a little bit, but he's still doing pretty darn well on the stat department. I am not concerned about him at all. Okay. Naomi, you head over here. Amelia, why don't you head on up here? I think I know who we're going to take out. Whoa, and a crit! Awesome! Amelia does not give him even his very small chance to land that 7 damage counterattack. And she levels up, with boost to skill, speed, and defense. Amelia, you are a monster! But I mean that in the best possible way. Just FYI. Okay, there's no way that guy can get to Natasha, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure there are going to be any monsters left by the time these two get on over here. It's kind of funny, actually. Um, Cormag, you know what? How do you do against this guy? How much damage can he deal to you? Answer, very little. Alright, you know what? I'm going to have you take down this skeleton. <laughs> and another awesome critical hit. Pretty sweet animation there, too, I think you'll agree. Oh. I'm glad Tana dodged that, because frankly, I don't know who else is down there that might have been able to follow up that attack and potentially take her out of the sky. That hurt. But that hurt more. It's just like the old expression. This is gonna hurt me, but not as much as it's gonna hurt you. Oh no! Dozla is under attack by a gargoyle. Somehow, I think he's gonna be okay. Something tells me that. Uh, all the flying characters are now converging on us. Presumably because we've killed literally everything else on the map. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Man, those are some ugly-looking monsters. Alright, Dozla, you need to stop... stop stealing all my experience points here. Alright, Prince of Frime... You head on over here. I want you to talk to Princess Larachelle. That's kind of important. Naomi! This is where you... Get to do your thing. This is your time to shine. Ooh, nice level up there. No complaints from me. And 
Katana. Let's see. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Okay. How do we want to play this? Our tour. You go ahead and finish this guy, please. Box this guy in. Hopefully, although mm, that doesn't look too good there. Yeah, you know what? Tell you what, calm. You stand there and do not attack. You just block his route, keep him from getting over to the bridge here. While we, dear God, that's a lot of eyeballs. Okay. Bone Walker. Walker, dirty talker. Let's uh, let's have Franz take care of you, so we can concentrate our forces up at the top. Luckily, Franz deals the or doesn't deal the attack. Dear God, it is way too hot in this room. Franz dodges that attack, and we are free to continue on our way. Ross. Take down this guy for me, would you? Nicely done, sir. And a level up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And a speed boost. You know, that's actually really, really good. Uh, that's not very common. For Ross, he does not oftentimes gain speed. So that's actually really excellent. You know, weirdly, I think the safest place for Natasha right now is... Uh, oh no, not even. Well, you know what? These guys won't deal any damage to her, because she has really crazy resistance. So I'm just going to stick her over here. It doesn't even matter if they can get to her. I guess we're going to be healing our Tor, because he has slightly lower health. That may prove to be a mistake. Hopefully not. Who can reach Tana? You can. You can. You can. Okay, so we need to start killing these guys because I'm concerned about them all making a play to kill Tana. There we go. And Amelia one-shots one of them right off the bat. Loot. This is your opportunity to fireball yet another thing. Man, she can very nearly one-shot that guy with fire. That's pretty impressive, because, uh... Mogals have... Actually, no, they don't have that very... They don't have particularly good resistance at all. I was gonna say that they have really good resistance, but that would have been a lie, because their resistance is, frankly, not very good. On the other hand, loot, what can you do to this guy? Oh! Oh, wait a minute, that's... Hmm... Hmm, who do I want to kill? This guy? Or this guy? Uh... You know, I'm gonna go with... Well, first I'm gonna do a save state, because who knows what'll happen. But I'm gonna go with this guy. I feel like he is the bigger threat. Unfortunately, that means I effectively wasted Calm's turn there. That is a sad... Whoa, wait a minute. Cormag is really weak to those guys, isn't he? I didn't even realize that. Holy cow. I need to get them the heck out of there. Those guys are going to cream him. <laughs> he doesn't even have a vulnerary. That was not smart thinking on my part. Man, 
Man, those eyes are just everywhere. That is so super gross. I don't want to kill that boss just yet. So I might just retreat at this point. You are... Fret not, O oh weary traveler, for I am here to save you! I grant you the favor of my divine aid! Who are you? What are you doing here? Ah, can it be? Do you not know the tales of my deeds? Have you not heard of the beauteous young woman traveling to defeat evil? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh! What is it? It's nothing. Please, pay me no mind. I just feel a bit like being alone and weeping for a while. What? No, you can't. This is no place for crying. I'm sure you've noticed, but we're under attack by monsters. If you can do anything to help, we would appreciate it. That's a good idea. I'll do it. Now, I want you to observe closely my graceful actions. Oh, for the love of God. Okay. And now she has to talk to Dozla. Dozla! Yes, what is it, Princess Larachel? We're going to be working together with those people. I want you to stay close by. Are you ready? Gwahaha! Ready as always! Okay. That's nice. Well, we just got ourselves another healer, which is actually really, really handy. Um, and... Oh, Dozla, why don't you just go kill this thing? As you can see, Dozla is another one of those characters who's, like, way higher level than everyone else, and therefore uh, should not be used by anyone, ever. Vulnerary, that's what I like to see. So, that demon thing is, like, serious bad news. I really hope I don't end up getting anyone killed by not just immediately going and killing it. I'm gonna do another save state, just in case. Ross. Well, you know, theoretically, Ross is a good th guy to uh, tangle with this death... <laughs> It's called a Death Goyle. That is possibly the dumbest name for a monster I have ever heard in my life. But that's cool. Sounds like a... Sounds like a, uh, a non-Jew who's particularly intent on murdering people. Or maybe a non-Jew who tries to perform circumcisions and okay never mind this this joke is like spiraling out of control i'm going to stop now um what do we want to do i know what we want to do cormag why don't you hang out over here or, actually let's see where can this guy move Ooh, that's no good uh cormag you move over here a javelin. Natasha, you run away really, really fast. You heal Cormag. I think Cormag may be an okay choice for dealing with this guy. Hopefully. Uh, I'm really concerned about him killing my mages. Amelia, we need to kill that thing, so why don't you do the honors? I do not have much use for this Slim Lance at this point. I really don't understand why they make Slim Lances more expensive than the regular Lances. They really aren't that great. Uh, Iron Lances deal more damage, and while Slim Lances are faster and have a higher chance to crit, you know, I'm the sort of guy who considers reliable 
damage a more valuable asset. And generally, anyone who's so fast that you need that extra speed is generally going to be a boss, and they generally aren't going to take damage worth a damn from a pitiful, slim lance. Just saying. And we need to make sure this guy does not kill Natasha, so... Ross, why don't you head on over here, equip the hatchet, and wait. Still more evil eyes coming out of the woodworks here. Or, sorry, Mogals. Mogals that use the attack evil eye. That's what I meant. That one had the uh, poor judgment to attack Amelia within melee range, and got lanced for his trouble. Ooh, another nice level up for Amelia. She is on fire, folks. Oh, crap. Oh boy! I am so glad Natasha dodged that first attack. I th you know, I thought for sure that she was out of range, and I was totally wrong. That could have gone so much worse, though. I am just thankful that she survived. In fact, so thankful am I that she survived that I'm going to do a save state. Okay, Mamie, why don't you... See what you can do to this guy. Answer, you can do a hell of a lot. Do it. Nice, nice, nice. Mamie is not messing around. Which is something I always appreciate. Franz, why don't you lead the charge against one of these eyes? As long as we uh, are still in this battle, let's see we can make the most of it by racking up as much experience as possible. I am going to have to kill that boss this turn, but before I do, let's see if we can't level up some more of our guys. Ooh, awesome level up for Franz there. Just fantastic. Another save state, and let's see. I'm really not concerned about Amelia at this point. This battle's almost over. Let's just see if she can javelin this guy. And down goes yet another Mogul. Amelia is not gaining quite the experience she was before, but she has gone up like six levels in this battle, so that might explain it. Calm. Why don't you go ahead and... Can you take down this Mogul? Oh yes you can. Go for it. And that's another Mogul down. Oh, what do you know folks? We actually did manage to kill literally everyone except for the boss. Well this will make this easy. Also has a 75% chance to hit with the Killer Axe, 85% with the, uh, the what have you, the Iron Axe, and will deal just enough damage to kill this guy. Meanwhile, if he misses, he won't die, but he will come close. So let's do another save state. Again, this is pure paranoia brought on by the fact that this is Fire Emblem, and horrible things happen but I think this will probably go okay. Yep, there we go. Beautiful hit there from Ross, and he levels up. He is now a level 13 pirate. Very nice. And we get a short spear for our trouble, which will be going directly to the supply truck, or supply caravan, or what have you. We've destroyed the remaining monsters. This ship appears to be empty. And once again, the forces of righteousness prevail! Thank you. We owe our victory to you. She didn't do a damn thing! Don't even say that, Prince of Rhyme. Don't mention it! My name is Larachel. 
I'm on a never-ending quest to defeat evil in the name of virtue and order. Wait, your face has a certain familiarity. I recently met a young woman who greatly resembles you. Do you mean Irika? She's my sister. Irika? Isn't that the name of the Princess of Rene? And you have a very regal air about you yourself, don't you? My name is Ephraim, Prince of Rene. We're fighting to end Grotto's invasion. To be honest... Oh my! The entire world went dark for just a second. Seemingly out of nowhere. It happened right after those ellipses you trailed off into. In that case, I must accompany you. Do you understand that we alone are facing all the armies of Grotto? We face untold numbers, and our odds of success are embarrassingly small. You clearly do not know who I am. Do not be startled by what I'm about to disclose to you. I am the Princess of Rouston, Theocracy of the Righteous. You're the Princess of Rouston? Hmm. You certainly don't have the bearing of a commoner, but... Ah, of course. My natural nobility gives me away every time. Truth to tell, dire circumstances have led me to begin this journey in secret. Prince Ephraim of Rene, please be assured that Rouston is your ally. Let us stand together against the villainous Grotto Empire. Well, that's that, Dozla. We will now be traveling with Ephraim and his companions. Guahaha! Understood. For you, Princess Larachel, I would dive headlong into a sea of evil. Why, I'd even tie myself up with ropes and chains first. Such fabulous devotion. You are truly my most loyal attendant. Let us be off, then. Gwahaha! You know what? Those little laughs way too much. It's kind of embarrassing. All right, folks, that is the end of Chapter 11, Phantom Ship. That battle went swimmingly well, no pun intended, and I'm looking forward to playing the next one, but for now, I need to get into air conditioning because I am about to drop. It is so hot. Whew! All right, folks, thanks for watching. I'm so glad that you stuck around to watch this. I hope you had fun. I know I did. I will see you next time.